Hi Beauty Nista, this is Shirley Super Hip Mama and I am going to move on to my look number two from the Naked 3 palette and to be very very honest with you I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Um, I do know that I want to do a more dramatic look from the first one that I did which was really very natural, very suitable for daytime um, but to be quite honest with you it's not my personality. So. I have a crazy idea. I don't know how it's going to pan out, so just kind of roll along with me. I am going to go ahead and lay down as a base using the Color Tattoo Metal Collection with Gold Rush. And this is the color. It's really gold. Like I said, it's just a crazy idea. I truly have no idea how it's going to turn out. So let me kind of get some product out, put it to the back of my hand, and warm it up and see where it's going to take us. I'm just going to, I'm going to wing it big time. So I'm laying it down, pat, pat, pat. Okay, it's kind of messy, and actually this gold color is not as easy to work with. Um, I don't know if you could see, I'm kind of zooming you in. Can you see how patchy it is? So, but this is just to lay down base, so I'm absolutely fine with it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a flat shader brush. If I could decide which brush I want to use. Um, where is it? Where is it? There you go. Magudo Max 239. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this color called Trick, right here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some color, and I'm going to use the mirror here. And just pat it down. You know, this gold rush is really patchy. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I'm going to keep working with it and see where it's going to take. Wow. You know, with a gold undertone, or I should say with a gold base, and you put trick on top of it, it really turned into a very um, bright rose gold. It makes it even more, if that's the right word to use. It just makes a pop. How's that? And then as always, every time I lay down a color, I would always use a clean blending brush. In this case, it's a Sigma E25. I'm just going to blend away the edges. And then what I'm going to do next is actually um, put down a transition color. So I'm going to go ahead and use Limit, which is a matte color here. Limit. What's next? You know, just kind of like a a note as I'm working here. If you ever want to put down a gold base like the way I did, don't use that color tattoo metal gold rush. It's um it's patchy and I thought with a shadow color over it I can smooth out the patchiness, but it's really not working that well. But I'm gonna move on. So the next color I'm gonna go ahead and use is a darker color and I'm thinking of playing with dark side and black heart these two colors here um, I'm gonna lay down dark side first so I'm gonna use an angled brush like the way I like to uh, so I'm using an elf angled brush it's a small one so I'm just going to 
tap some color in. And then again, using the stamping technique that I used the last time, I'm going to go ahead and put down this darker color and drag. Now because my eyes are hooded, I really need to open my eyes and look ahead, straight ahead to see when I open my eyes, how much of where, how much of the eye, you know, eyeshadow that I've just deposited is going to show through because with hooded eyes, it might get disappeared once you look up and my eyes, you know, hoods over. So I'm looking ahead. So I don't know if you noticed, but all of us, our eyes, both our eyes are not exactly the same. So how you put your color on this side is going to be different from this side. Some people's eyes are very obviously bigger than the other, like mine. Um, I do notice that. So how you place your colors will be very different but generally that's pretty much what I do is the darker color on the outer V or outer edge not so much as outer V okay and then I'm gonna darken it a little bit more call me crazy I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush but I'm gonna clean off some color and pick up some black heart which is this beautiful dark color here okay and I'm just gonna Put it on the edge and maybe bring it up a little bit like a cat eye and if it doesn't work out ah so be it we'll clean it and use something else this makeup. You can always clean it. So have fun. Don't be scared. Okay, I'm gonna clean off the same shader brush and I'm gonna pick up dust right here. And literally I'm gonna dust the inner corner of my eyes right here. Just to pick up some light. in a corner okay. now because it's quite shimmery in the base color that I've used already so the under my um, eyebrows I'm not going to use um, too glittery of a color so I'm actually going to stick with the third matte color of this palette which is strange right here so Again, I'm going to clean off my shader brush really good and then pick up some color and then put it right underneath my brow bone. I'm going to make the cat eye a little bit more even out on this eye here. How does that look? I think a little bit better. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is to line my eyes. I may or may not put on falsy. I can't kind of figure out. But when I'm done, I'll be right back and talk about the rest of my face. See you later. Okay, beauty nistas, I'm back. And this is the um, completed look. So let me tell you what I have done. To line my eyes, I actually use Kat Von D's um, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I really love this. This is actually a sample that I got or redeemed with my points from Sephora. And when I went in yesterday to try to buy the full size, it's all gone. Oops. Ah! It's all gone. So 
that's what I lined my eyes with and then after that I find that it's a little bit too harsh so I went over with dark side this color here just to kind of soften it up and then the lower eyelashes I actually lined it with bare minerals round the clock waterproof liner in 10 p.m. And in the inner rim here, or inner corner, I use Michelle Phan's uh, M Cosmetics in the water liner, and the color is rose gold. And I remember in one of Michelle's videos saying that this is their best selling water liner, and there is a very good reason why. And let me tell you, I am loving it. Um, for my lips, I lined it with Jordana's Sedona Red. And then Revlon's uh, Fire and Ice 720. That's for my lips. As for my cheeks and contour, uh, contour with Benefits Hula. And because my lips are strong, my eyes are just equally strong, I want my uh, blush to be a little bit more toned down. So I use Havana from Benefits. Beautiful, beautiful color, as you can tell. Um, and that is my completed look. Oh, for my foundation, if you're interested, I'm using Makeup Forever HD. And the color I'm in is number 140. And that is it, Beauty Nistas. I hope you like the second look uh, from the Naked Palette. As I told you before, this is a very versatile. So compare my first look to my second look. It's literally day and night. This is a very festive nighttime look. Um... I'm loving it. I'm rocking it. The only thing that I will make a change is the gold base that I use. I will not use that color tattoo again. Um, I have no issue with the other colors, but this gold is junk, and I actually chuck it because I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. Uh, so if you want to lay down a gold base, which I highly recommend because it really makes uh, the color trick pops, and this is the color here. So that is it. hope you like this, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!